Just want to say, Baba, oh, eh, eh, we just want to say, Baba, oh, eh, immortal, invincible, the all wise, the all knowing, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. The Lord of Lords, the I am that I am, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Rose of Sharon, the one that sits in the heavens and controls the entire universe. We worship you, we exalt you, we magnify your name. We thank you for another time that we've come into your presence to cry to you. Father, please accept our worship in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Good evening. Welcome to another Faith Clinic. This evening we are going to be crying to God. But before we do, we would just like to look briefly into the Word of God. I would like us to open our Bibles to the book of Proverbs chapter 22. And we will be reading verse 29. Proverbs 22, verse 29. And I read, Seest thou a man, Diligent in his business. He shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before mean men. Now we're going to look at this scripture and we'll be looking at an exhortation I titled Diligence. If we look at that first verse of this scripture, it was actually a question because there's a question mark there. It says, See thou a man diligent in his business. He did not say at a time or economy or situation in the country. He just talked about him being diligent in his business, no matter what is going wrong. The Bible says he will stand before kings. And we can look at several people in the Bible. Even let's look at the disciples. Every disciple that the Lord Jesus Christ called, he met them doing something. Peter had fished all night. He takes diligence to walk all night. And it was in the morning, God still told him, and he still obeyed. So, this evening, I just like to encourage us. Yes, people might say things are bad, things are not going on the way it should be, economy is down, it's a year of survival, it's a year of this. Don't listen to them. Listen to what the scripture says. The scripture says, if you find a man that is diligent in his business, he said he will stand before kings, he will not stand before average or mean men. Meaning, COVID or no COVID, recession or no recession, be diligent at what you do. Do your work as diligently as you can. That means if you get to your office or your business, at 8 a.m. Now that they've opened up a bit, get to your work at 8 a.m. Yes, you got there yesterday, Wednesday, nobody showed up till 12 noon. It doesn't mean that today, now, or tomorrow, Friday, you will not get there at 1 p.m. That actually, I was there yesterday, nobody came. Get there at the same 8 a.m. Be diligent. Keep doing what you are doing and do it well. Diligence also means doing it with a spirit of excellence. Doing things a bit different than others. Do it with all your heart. You might say they didn't come throughout last week. I'm tired. I'm not going to waste my money. It might be tomorrow that the person God is sending to you is going to show up. Let's be diligent. And also, let's remember Isaac. 
it was in the time of famine God told him to sow. It was in the time of famine, in the country of famine, that God told him to sow. And he diligently did so. And the Bible records, you see, when you read the scripture, everything is put there for a reason. The Bible says, and it was in that same year, not the next, not two years after, that he reaped a hundredfold. Diligence. Let's look at the widow that came to meet the prophet and said, Sir, my husband before he passed owed so many people. And now the debtors have come to take my sons to pay the debt. And the man of God gave her specific instructions. Go. Do so and so. Do so and so. And this will happen. And she did. She obeyed to the letter. And the oil kept flowing until every vessel was full. She did not say why do I have to shut the door? She obeyed. Diligence also means that you have to obey instructions of God. There are certain things you must do and do it according to how the scripture have put it for you to get the result. If you don't do it according to the way it's meant to be done, you will not get the desired result that you should get. So I just want to encourage us in this time and season. We have entered the ember months. People are already saying the year is over. What can happen? A lot can still happen. A lot can still happen. Don't let slack in the things we've been doing. Don't let's give up now. Don't let's stop being diligent at our places of work. Yes, some are losing their job, but some are still getting promoted. And the Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. And the year 2020 will end on a note of celebration for us in the mighty name of Jesus. We will not end it just surviving because God did not say we will survive. We are going to thrive. Praise the Lord. I would like us to pray now. And in our various homes, if we're at home, if we're at work, if we're on the road, let's just get into the attitude of prayer and just begin to appreciate God. Let's begin to thank him. Let's thank him for nine months that he has kept us. This is the eleventh day in the ninth month. Nine, as we know, is the number of delivery because when a woman carries a pregnancy, in the ninth month, she comes forth with the child. So, Let's begin to appreciate him that this is our month of bringing forth. That everything that we have been sowing, that in this month of September, we will bring forth. Let's just begin to appreciate, let's just begin to thank him. That we are not in the grave, we are not on hospital beds. Give him all the glory, give him all the honor. Worship and exalt him. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Let's say, Father, in this ninth month, every of your good seed in me, let it bring forth bountifully in the mighty name of Jesus. Cry to God and talk to him. That this shall be my month of great deliveries. Every of my dreams, none shall be aborted this month, but they shall come forth. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Let's say, Father, for the remaining days that are left in this year, let testimonies meet testimonies in my mouth. For the remaining days in this year 2020, Father God, 
Let my testimony not end. Cry to God. Father, let my testimonies not cease in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I remember our Father and the Lord teaching us about helpers of destinies. And it was telling us that there are various helpers. I think they are the connectors. They are those that are the blessers. And I always like using this example of Naaman, the mighty warrior that had their prosy. It was his slave that told him, there's a prophet. This your ailment is curable. If Naaman had disdained that girl and said, who told you to discuss my matter? He would have died a leper. So we're going to cry to God. You are going to say, Father, when the helper of my destiny shall show forth, may I not disdain them. May I not look down on them. Cry to God. That when that helper shall come forth, that person that God has sent, that you will not look down on them and miss that miracle. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Kings. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. At this point, I would like you to take your own personal prayer points and talk to God. As I also give you the last prayer point for this evening. And the last prayer point, you are going to cry to God. You are going to save my Father and my God. From now till the end of this year, I will not embark on a journey of no return. Talk to God that every journey that you will embark on this year, in these remaining three months and some days, I will not embark on a journey of no return. No member of my family shall embark on a journey of no return. I shall go forth in peace. I shall go to the right places. I will come in contact with the right people. I will meet them for the right purpose. I will not get there yet. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, Lord of lords. For in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Everlasting Father, we thank you. Immortal, the invisible, the all-wise, we worship you. Father, we have cried out to you again this evening. Lord Almighty, please answer our cries in the mighty name of Jesus. Let this year, 2020, end on a note of thanksgivings for us. We will not suffer any form of loss. Thank you, King of glory, for in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Praise the Lord. Let's listen to the following announcements. Let's remember that our services have started again. Our first service every Sunday is the youth service that starts by 7.30 a.m., followed by the Sunday school immediately after that service. Then the second service will start by 9.05. Please, let's make sure that we attend these services. And please, when you are coming to church, let's remember the rules. Come with your face mask and please observe the necessary precautions that have been laid down by the government. The Lord will bless us. The Lord will answer our prayers. None of us shall suffer loss this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's share the grace in fellowship. And may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Surely, goodness, mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in his presence forever and ever. Amen. Shalom.